Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my very very long awaited and long overdue Bangkok beauty haul. All of the stuff that I bought in Bangkok, actually majority of it is in this bag. There is another separate bag where I will show you some other things but this is just the maximum part of it and it's from a lot of different stores. Now I went to Bangkok last year, I think it was in September, October. It was really exciting for me because it was my first international solo trip and I definitely wanted to buy beauty stuff while I'm there and I wanted to like indulge a little also because I hadn't spent on like a big amount of beauty in a long time so I thought like let me just enjoy myself and go a little crazy but at the same time I also think that I was pretty sensible and I thought before I made every single purchase so that I didn't completely go overboard. Little note about uh, beauty shopping in Bangkok. Um, the brands there, you can just get absolutely every brand that you can dream of basically, like every brand that's available in USA and UK is there. And the variety is 10 times the amount of variety we get in India. Even if we have the same brands available in India, there's just a lot more variety there. And even like at MAC, uh, the new launches come in earlier and that's pretty exciting about it. Now, when I compared prices of the same things here and in Bangkok, most of the time, the prices were like kind of similar. So you're not saving a lot of money buying in Bangkok, you're just getting access to more stuff. But um, on high-end products, I did find that Bangkok was a little cheaper, not by much, but in some cases, a couple of hundred rupees like difference. Uh, in some cases, uh, it was even three, four hundred rupees difference, like in Sephora and stuff. So I like to say that all of this stuff that I bought in Bangkok, like literally all of it, was bought at one cluster of malls. I travelled everywhere within Bangkok by BTS and it's similar to Metro over here. If you go to Siam station, there are a lot of malls connected to that station itself. Like you literally don't even have to get down onto the road, you can directly enter the malls. And I would highly recommend if you want to go Bangkok beauty shopping, uh, just go to Siam BTS station and uh, check out all the malls there. I literally spent two days there because I love malls, I'm not ashamed to say it. Also worth noting that most of the stores right from like Etude House to Sephora and everything will take uh, your Indian card. If you have a credit card, you must be knowing they'll take it. I don't have a credit card, but most of the places I swiped my debit card only. I have an international visa debit card and it worked to pay everywhere. Wherever they took a card, I didn't have any issues. So I thought that you guys should know that you can definitely uh, pay with your debit cards. So now I'm going to like open this bag and just uh, make sense of everything and start showing it to you. So I'm going to start with the only kind of higher end products that I purchased. I didn't go crazy. These two are from Sephora and I did see a lot of brands available there. Aglas and like NARS and everything and it was super exciting because I can buy that stuff online in USA and have it shipped to me via ship out from USA or something. But actually seeing those products in front of you and swatching them if you want is like a totally different experience and um, it's even more tempting to buy the stuff but the prices were really expensive like our glass the ambient lighting palette i don't even remember how much it was it was like five six thousand rupees worth so i resisted because it was not really something i needed in my life uh, the only two things that i picked up are one makeup forever lipstick and if you've seen my previous get ready with me video where i'm trying on new products you would have seen this in action, uh, it's on my lips, so go check that out if you would like to see exactly what the shade looks like. It is the second product I think I bought from Makeup Forever because I've shopped um, their stuff at the Mumbai Sephora as well. It is from the Icona Pop um, collaboration, uh, they are a Swedish uh, pop duo, I don't really know about them but I really like the blue lipstick because it looks so badass. It's not a matte at all, it's a very cream formula, it's almost got a metallic sheen to it and it's really really beautiful. I am digging blue lips right now and even in the duo, like if you look at the Icona Pop collaboration pictures, this slightly brown skinned one has worn this and I think that blue lipstick looks especially good on medium to darker skin tones. Um, I mean anyone can wear it but I think it especially complements my type of skin colour um, and I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but still. Still. And I paid around um, 2000 rupees or so for it which is the most expensive thing that I bought from there and I checked out this range of lipstick in the Indian Sephora and it's around 2400 or 500 so there's a little bit of a difference I don't know if you'll get this exact shade 
but the artist rouge cream and matte range is available in india that was actually the only thing i picked up from sephora i was on my way to check out and they keep these last minute items that you see just when you're standing in the line to pay and um, i found the sephora smoothing primer i had not even thought about it uh, when i was there but when i was in india i had thought about buying a backup so i picked this up and there was a larger difference in price i think in india it's 1000 200 400 something like that and i got it for around 1000 rupees um, in thailand and i really like this primer again i've used it in a lot of videos and especially when it goes to summer i like using it i haven't even finished the first one it lasts a very long time so i thought picking up one backup would be good next i am going to show you my bath and body works haul it was the first time i was seeing a bath and body works uh, store in real life so again i got really pumped they had a lot of different things i think i must have spent an hour in there just leisurely going around the store um trying on a few things like just sampling smelling feeling and all that stuff and i didn't know what i wanted to buy they are most famous uh, for their scented candles so i did have a look at the scented candles the smaller ones um were cheaper but none of the fragrances really excited me and i went to check out their big candles which are the three wick three or four wick candles they're really big okay and they were very expensive guys i mean i think like on sale or something they were around 4000 rupees a candle and i was not willing to spend that much anyway in, in bombay we rarely have candle weather even in winter it's not that great to like burn candles so i resisted buying the candles the things were definitely a bit expensive but a lot of the store um, had like small ranges on sale so the day that i went they said that there was a sale like a one day sale according to them i don't know if that's true on the body mist not all of the body mist were on sale uh, but a large portion of them were so it was really nice i spent some time figuring out what to buy and i picked up two of them one of them is waikiki beach of coconut and the other one is endless weekends these were the fragrances that i liked the most they are 236 ml each and when i came home and i showed them to mum i really liked the waikiki coconut one better because more than coconut to me it absolutely smells like a piña colada which is a cocktail or it can be a mocktail as well um which is made with coconut and pineapple because it's coconutty and it's also got a lot of sweetness to it and this weekend i don't really know what to describe it as it's a little sweet and it smells a little bit like cottony and little sugary not too much when i actually like smelled it again i didn't like it that much i'm a bit picky with fragrances but my mom really likes it okay so it worked out very well because i'm going to give her endless weekend and i'm going to use waikiki beach coconut just before i went to bangkok a friend gifted me my first ever um bath and body works pocket back and then you might have seen this uh, in one of my favorite videos last year i think it was my november favorites and you also might have seen it in my what's in my travel bag uh, they're very famous they're basically bath and body works a cute little mini um hand sanitizers yeah that that would be the best way to describe them they're available in a ton of different fragrance variants like seriously so many and they smell really nice again there was a little offer on them i don't remember the exact price but they were like if you buy five you can get a little bit off So I wasn't saving a big deal but I just used that offer and I bought uh, five different ones most of them are beachy or nautical themed one is life's a beach a beach house one is a hoy sparkling seas strawberry vanilla sugar xo sprinkle donut and now I kind of want a glazed donut while looking at it seas the day I like the pun they did here instead of like seas it's the sea seas <laughs> and they all have those micro beads in them as well they are small they smell nice that's why i bought them they also have these little holders uh, which you can actually attach uh, to your pocket bag it's all silicon and i just have to put the pocket bag inside and then i can hang this from like a zip in my bag or anything which is really handy uh they had some really cute holders that had like a cat on them they were led light up ones they were too adorable but when i looked at them they were really expensive and i thought that was a bit silly to spend on a holder because i'm not 14 anymore 
so I went and I bought a, the most basic uh, simple holder available. This was also not the cheapest. But I figured since I bought so many pocket bags, might as well just buy one simple one. That is the end of my bath and body work section. On to the next. Okay, so uh, now on to a couple of uh, beauty tools that I bought from this uh, small little store called Arkova. I'm going to leave a lot of um, information in the description bar wherein you can see like addresses and stuff uh, and help you in case you're shopping in Bangkok. So Arkova was supposed to be a Korean store and they had a lot of uh, knickknacks and uh, pretty cheap stuff similar to an American dollar store. I picked up two beauty tools from this brand called Sandipin. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's made in China but they were decently packed and uh, like really uh, cool looking and not too expensive so I bought them and I really like that Arkova also had uh, prices clearly mentioned on the packaging because in Thailand and even when we had gone to Malaysia um, they don't have MRP system there they don't have maximum retail price so it's really difficult sometimes to know um, how much you're paying for something like so Arkova had everything very clearly mentioned and the first thing I picked up and this also you would have seen in my get ready with me video if you watched it they call it the BB powder brush basically they are small size dupes of the artist brushes and you can get uh, this type of brushes similar ones from so many brands in India even pack makes them this was a set of two of these smaller size brushes that are really good for blending concealer like in the under eye area or even putting setting powder in the under eye area or you can even blend a cream contour very nicely with these uh, I had been wanting to order like small size brushes like this from somewhere so I was just happy to see it in front of my face and I picked up one uh, this I paid 150 baht for so it is 300 rupees not bad for uh, two of them uh, second thing also from Sandipin is like a sort of a beauty blender copy or dupe uh, it's got the typical uh, hot pink beauty blender color and I really like that this one came in a sort of a plastic dabba this also like came with a few sort of cotton pads included that you can use to remove your makeup or whatever I thought it was a really nice extra I haven't tried this one yet though unlike the brushes which I did try and again this was very affordable um, 100 baht so that's just 200 rupees for this beauty blender uh, I hope it doesn't break me out or anything but I don't think so I mean it looks legit so may not be the very best quality or anything but uh, it was really cheap so I thought it can't hurt to pick it up now I'm going to show you one of my super random supermarket purchases I didn't go with the intention of buying uh, beauty stuff I went with the intention of buying food stuff I ended up picking up this set of cotton it was not even on discount or anything but it was not expensive also I don't remember the price it was pretty cheap what I liked about it is it's this like hard acrylic case um, divided in three and it's a three in one cotton set so on one side you have cotton balls uh, the other middle section here has cotton buds and this has uh, like a square or rectangular cotton sheets so it's really nice to keep on your dresser I think it will be excessive for traveling but when you're keeping it on your dressing table you have the three things so neatly sectioned and you know there's a lid also so you can keep things a little more hygienic and that's why I bought it and I figured when I finish the cotton balls or cotton buds or whatever I can kind of refill it also that's why I purchased it I felt silly buying it but I think it was a good purchase now on to the things that I bought from a store called Butrium they have a lot of different brands there they have a lot of Asian brands from that side they have a lot of international brands like I saw I saw so many brands I can't remember <laughs> but basically uh, different brands different price ranges and uh, you know you each section is dedicated to one one brand so you can spend some time looking around there the first thing i bought uh, is from the maybelline section uh, because a uh, lot of the maybelline things uh, were different than are available here i really like maybelline it's this mascara it's the barbie big eyes mascara again this was demonstrated in my last get ready with me video so do check it out i demonstrated a lot of the new products that i bought there yeah it's very interesting because it is a fiber mascara so one side here you have like the main black mascara the other side you have um, these like cottony type of fibers so this um, mascara is a three-step mascara wherein you first put on 
the regular black mascara side. Then you apply the fibers on top and then you apply the mascara on top of that. The fibers are supposed to build up the thickness of your lashes. And I think uh, a few years ago I'd seen that some other like higher end brand like Lancome had this concept. So I was happy to see it in a budget brand and while I was a little skeptical of the idea, I was like why not try it. I paid around 500 rupees for this, uh, so it was not that expensively priced. What I really like is that the mascara side on its own also is really nice and it really gives me a decent amount of volume which I like if I'm feeling lazy to put on the fibers. So about the fiber side, I would say it works nicely, it does build up the thickness of your lashes. It might give a little spider lash effect but if you want to have a more voluminous lashes without putting on falsies it's pretty good like i like it however you need to be careful when you're applying the fibers because a couple of times when i've done it carelessly a little bit of the fiber ends up entering the eye area and i don't think i have very sensitive eyes also but it ends up irritating my eye a little the entire day so if you have sensitive eyes if you're a contact lens wearer i think i would not recommend this mascara on the fiber side and i think you need to be a little careful and slow when you're applying it overall it's really nice and i'm glad i bought it next i picked up two things from garnier skincare i was very very excited to see these in butrium because um, I've always wanted to get my hands on these and they were only available in the UK and stuff. They're the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, in case you haven't heard of these, you probably have because they're everywhere. Uh, this is supposed to be a really nice cleanser, great for sensitive skin. It also sort of moisturizes it in the sense that it doesn't strip your face. And uh, finally, it removes makeup, so it's a magical product like that. Also, I've heard, and it's supposed to be really similar to the Bioderma like cleansing water, which is a lot more expensive. So this was really, really affordable, and I paid something like 400 rupees for this bigger bottle, which is really cool. Maybelline also had a micellar water out, which I'd put in my cart, but when I saw that the Garnier one was available, I kept the Maybelline one back. Uh, but let's see if I ever go again, I'm probably picking up more of these. And finally, I also bought this smaller one. Uh, the smaller one was something like 160, 170 rupees. So you're actually saving a lot if you buy the bigger one. But I just thought the smaller one is nice for travel. And so I thought I'd buy one of this. This 400 ml, uh, this 125 ml. So bigger one is actually a smarter decision, but smaller one's not bad either. This is the pure active one and this is just the regular one, I think. So the variants are a little different also. I really uh, wanted to buy the new one that has oil in it and it's like yellow color, but that wasn't there. Finally, I picked up a bunch of different sheet masks, all from Butrium, uh, because I've become obsessed with sheet masks lately. These were not the cheapest sheet masks I bought, uh, but they were not too expensive. As I recall, I paid something like uh, 200 to 250 each for these but I did buy cheaper sheet masks as well that you'll see in my next Bangkok haul. These are three of the Zoo variant masks and one is the Tiger Real mask, uh, collagen. The other one is the Cat Real mask, obviously my favorite because cat. This one's vitamin and finally the Panda Real mask. This one is aqua, so I'm guessing just hydration. There were a few more, but these were the seemingly cutest ones. And why they're called real? apparently is like I googled it and this sheet mask is actually shaped in the uh, shape of the animal so the panda one actually looks like a panda and that sounds both cute and really creepy haven't tried any of these uh, maybe I'll try them soon maybe like me my mom and dad can put on one 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 at the same time I'm sure that would be hella creepy but yeah and uh, I bought a single um, ampule mask from this brand called PDF, like PDF, really portable document format. I don't know. Uh, it says Mediheal and it's the Line Friends mask. Uh, Line Friends are these really cute Japanese characters and there's a lot of merchandise available. They're almost as famous as Hello Kitty. I don't know who, what this character's name is, but uh, this is one of the characters. It's basically a little duck. This just says Mediheal Line Friends uh, AC Dressing Ampule Mask. I don't really know what this does. Apparently there's a little Line Friend, like a, a patch on the mask also, but I thought it was cute, so I picked it up. 
and I found that um, sheet masks are really good for hydration and they give me this very pampered feeling so I love applying them now. When I was going to uh, pay for my stuff at Butrium, they also had um, these basically cotton pads. There was a pretty big discount on it, uh, that's why it was kept there and there's this big box with so many packets of these ambulance cotton pads and yeah, it's actually called ambulance which is a bit weird but I just bought one because I figured uh, when I finish off from my that box, I can actually fill these up and you always need these so just another silly impulse purchase. I bought one single NYX thing and this was from the NYX counter in I think Siam, Siam Discovery, oh, no no Siam Paragon. Uh, they had a little NYX counter and uh, there was a good variety of stuff. I would say it's a little better than the NYX selection available in India. I swatched a lot of products, uh, I was just there for a long time and finally I picked up the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. Uh, this is in the shade Stone Fox and I wore this um, a couple of months ago. I wore it and there's a picture of me wearing it on Instagram when I did. A lot of you guys asked me uh, what I was wearing. So I was wearing Stone Fox then and I really liked that. After that, I actually bought all the shades of the NYX Liquid Suede in the vault. I have many sizes and you guys have been asking me for all swatches on my skin tone. So that video has gotten a little bit delayed. But I promise you it's coming, I have not forgotten. So I will be doing that uh, maybe like sometime next month realistically. Finally, I bought uh, two things from Watson's. I saw this uh, Dr. Somchai. I was not familiar with this brand, but apparently it's like a Thai brand, a local one. Uh, there's a micellar cleansing water. So similar to the Garnier ones. It says that it's a four-in-one product and it is supposed to be a makeup remover, cleanser, toner and moisturizer. It doesn't do all those things. I don't think it does, but it does uh, cleanse your face if you won't make up or if you've not worn makeup and it's supposed to be soothing for sensitive skin. I really like the packaging of this because it's this nice sort of pump bottle. Uh, you don't have to turn it like this. Uh, there's just this pump on the top. You put your cotton and directly pump it out. So it was really nice. Don't remember the price exactly. I think it was similar to the bigger size in Garnier or something. Uh, so it's a little smaller size but I like the bottle. I also bought a like, set of Watson's baby wipes. This was a buy one get one free meaning like I paid for three and I got six. I've already used up a couple of them. They are a little too heavily perfumed but I think that the cleansing properties are even better than the Johnson's baby wipes which I like. So they're very useful and they had it in boy variant and girl variant so I bought the girl one. I thought it was really silly but whatever. That was it uh, for my first and very very long Thailand beauty haul. I've covered majority of the things here and I'll be doing just one more video uh, featuring everything I bought from Etude House because I bought a lot of things from that brand. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was worth the wait. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment below and I would be happy to answer it. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.